on the 530th day of the war in Ukraine, the fighting was concentrated in these areas. Today, the most important news comes from Vremivka Front, where, as I reported yesterday, Ukrainian forces are making serious efforts to take control of the settlement of Urozhaine. Today, Russian and Ukrainian sources informed that Ukrainian troops managed to advance in the northern part of the village, forcing Russian troops to move south of their initial positions. This on-the-ground Russian source confirmed on their Telegram channel that Ukrainian forces had penetrated their defense and moved inside the village where fighting was reported. For the moment, it is not yet fully confirmed if Ukrainians have managed to gain a solid foothold inside the village, but it is obvious that their attacks on the Russian forces inside Urozhaine have become more intense during the last 24 hours. On Kupiansk front, as I mentioned in the previous video, Russian forces continue to exert pressure in the Vilshana Pershotradneve line and reportedly advanced up to 3 kilometers south of the previous front line. Here, battles are ongoing north of Sinkivka and northeast of Petropavlivka. Pro Ukrainian sources said that the Ukrainian command is taking action to strengthen the defensive line and is also sending additional troops to block the Russian advance in this direction. In the central part of the front, it seems that the Ukrainian forces have managed to stabilize the front line. Near Novoselivske, Ukrainian forces continued to attack the Russian positions, not allowing the Russian forces to gain a stable foothold in this direction. Further south, in the Nadia Karmazinivka line, pro Ukrainian sources stated that Ukrainians have managed to push back the Russians in almost entire areas west of the Zherebets River. Russian forces now only have some partial control in the areas near Serhivka. In Bakhmut front, there have been no major territorial changes during the last few days, but fighting continued along the entire front line. In the northern part of the front, Russian sources confirmed that the presence of Ukrainian troops has increased along the Rostolivka Vesele line and that according to them, the Ukrainian army may be preparing an attack against Yakolivka about 3 kilometers southeast of the current Ukrainian positions. Near the city of Bakhmut, fighting is taking place on the berkivka yahidna line, but no territorial changes are reported. According to Russian sources, Ukrainian forces are increasing their efforts to break through the Russian defenses in this direction. There are no major territorial changes on the southern part of the front. According to Ukrainian sources, the central and northern parts of Klishivka continue to remain grey areas, regardless of the attempts made by both sides to take full control of the village. Due to the high concentration of artillery units in this part of the front, it seems that neither side can ensure full control over the village. However, today some Russian sources warn that the Ukrainian army is preparing to make a powerful attack after gathering a large force of about 9 battalions which are now ready to strike and try to take full control over Klishivka, as well as the railway north of the village where the majority of Russian forces are located. Further south, Ukrainian forces continue to exert pressure on Andrivka and Kurdyumivka. Today, Russian sources said that some armored groups of the Ukrainian army managed to penetrate the outskirts of Andrivka, but were not able to establish full control over the settlement. Intense battles are taking place in the vicinity of Kurdyumivka. The Ukrainian army has solidified its control over the areas north of the village and is now aiming to break through the Russian defenses inside the town. According to the representative of the Ukrainian parliament in the NATO assembly, Yehor Chenyev, Germany is ready to send the long-range Taurus missiles to Ukraine. According to Chernyev, the missile has a range of 500 kilometers and can cover all the occupied territories, including the southern coast of Crimea. Friends, if you like my daily updates, I kindly ask you to hit the like and subscribe buttons, as this will greatly help the channel to reach a wider audience. That's all for today's update, thank you to my Patreon supporters and have a great day!